episode of Shana Na. Did you take that? I saw it. Uh, I'm also letting you got to talk. You got to talk into your microphone. Into your mic. I'm also letting in on my age here because Shana Na is old, bro. It's very old. Speaking about Shana Na, your old. face lets in on your age. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm not sure about the Shakespearean festival thing, bro. Because we're known for like stand up and, you know, they say jesters. I'm not sure. Rob, you've got a little experience on both sides. What do you think? I think that's why you got me on this thing. Because yeah. I've done both. I've done three uh, different Shakespeare's in this venue. All right. So, where are you guys? Because we're waiting. Okay, no, I'm, this is it. You know, this, you know, this hurry up and wait stuff. It's getting on my thingers, bro. Cape Town. Cape Town. <laughs> Hurry up and wait. We got we got two of you guys. But well, one and a half really is is ginger. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I've done uh, Richard uh, Richard the third. Richard the third, which I did with Daniel. Yes. Um, I also did uh, Comedy of Errors and Midsummer Night's Dream here. Oh, okay. So. Did you? My mic was off. We have to reshoot. Come on. No, we're not. We'll just subtitle it. So I'm going to be the subtitle. That's yeah, so you could be Japanese for we know. Bye. <laughs> Fine, I'll be that one. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks, buddy. Thank okay, you, Now man. that we've got a bit of the <laughs> brown nosing out the way. Um, <laughs> and Shakespeare's dead, eh? I just want to know. Yes. He's dead. He's, oh, dead. Right. He's dead. I'm sorry, for. I think that's a, there's a statue over there of him. Oh, is that him? That's, that's him. I think that's him. That's he looks a little Christmassy. He's got too many lights yeah, on. Yeah, it's... He's celebrating. Uh, they say that um, you know Shakespeare is very bourgeois. So we, are we expecting like a very high end audience, or can we just can we crank it down a notch a little bit? I think we should crank it down. And what I'm what I'm specifically going to do is I'm going to break down Shakespeare for the audience in a, in a way that they can understand it. So from a stand up comedian's perspective, I'm going to give them my opening fifteen is going to be like, I know Shakespeare can be intimidating. Let me break it down for you. Mm. I'm going to show these people what it's really all about so in, in its simple words so they can understand. I might even perform a little bit of Shakespeare for them. Wow. And when did he die again? Yeah, a long, week, long eh? time ago. Long time. Because I thought he was like in that Men in Black movie. But it's not that. That's Will Smith. That's <laughs> I was close though. You That's are okay. so oh. off. So nah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so in days of old, and you know, Shakespeare was around. So... Did, did, they had jesters too, didn't they? Definitely. Yeah? Looked like me, actually. With the hair. Crusty the yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> the funny thing about jesters back then is if they failed at their job, they would literally die. When we die on stage, it just means that... It's just a metaphorical so they'll, thing. They'll yeah. kill you if they you die. actually died if they mm. failed. Well, let's not give you clearly haven't read your contract for because Kurt was very specific. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a guillotine back there for just such dying artists. <laughs> Yeah, but I think I think the the jester was like played a very much very similar role uh, in Shakespearean times, the court jester, as what stand-up comedians do today. So I think the f the fit is actually really good. But it's I think the, je the jester has evolved over time into the stand-up comic. So I think I think it's a pretty cool thing that we're getting wow. we're getting a shot to bring the Shakespeare and the comedy back together like that. Well, you know, the audience that usually comes here is going to be are they going to like be open to stand-up on this stage? <laughs> I think so. I've done stand up here once before. We did a fundraiser for the Manival Theatre once after, uh, I think it was after the run of Comedy of Errors. And we did stand up here. And, did, did and it was die? fantastic. No, it no, was fantastic. Thank God. I think they're very open. And you know, like, this is a beautiful theatre. I mean, look at this place. Yeah, it'll be nice when it's, it's sunny. <laughs> yeah. <Really. laughs> when they get the roof. All, when the, they water, get the, all the water in Cape Town's clearly, clearly being used here. Yeah. Because yeah, the trees are flourishing. This is clearly the leafy suburbs they speak yeah, of. It's a, you know what? It's a, when you're doing Shakespeare, it's always a big worry that the rain will come and interrupt in, uh, uh, the show. So, like, number one, that's probably not going to happen. But number two, if it does happen, it would be so awesome. If wow. People would love it <laughs> so <Even> much. <laughs> that would be like Bring the best your reception all of those get. Electrical, all of that electrical equipment on stage when the rain's coming down. Wow, man. <laughs> it's <laughs> not a good idea. All right. So, we are going to get rain. I'm sure of that. And um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen on the nights we're performing, though. Now, uh, before I get all carried away with the silly stuff, boys and girls, what what is it that you reckon we're going to bring to this thing, bro? Can we can we just can we just talk cock and get it over and done with, and and without freaking the Shakespearean people out? I don't see why not. I think we're going to bring a lot of fun. I think we're going to bring uh, a lot of joy. Uh, we're going to bring Phil over here. I'm bringing characters. 
He's bringing characters. And he, I'll bring characters. You know, Krusty the Clown's bringing characters. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. Exclusive to the fun and joy. Yeah, you're the weird element. You're like that. The well, he's the ginger. We had to give him a weird job. So there you go. Yeah. He's the lutist and um, the, the ukulele. Yeah, we couldn't find a lutist. We can't ukulele. find a lutist now. You know, <laughs> it's horribly short. In the uh, the orchestra also didn't have one. So. I think it's going to be amazing. Jess is in the park. Wow. No holds mm. barred comedy. And it's family friendly, you know that? <laughs> okay. Yes. It's gonna I be, need to tell you, it's family it's friendly. Family so friendly. Yeah, it's it's family. family friendly. So you, it's you family can't friendly. say any of the big words. People are going to come here, they would, they, they're going to treat this this comedy night like they do the, the Shakespeare. They come for a picnic early on in the evening. Yeah. Then they come and they enjoy some f good family comedy and full. And it's going to be amazing. One of my favorite things performing in front of children. <laughs> Oh, nice. Because you are like a I little, like you're a child a with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think, I think it's... It's, it's going to be a jaw. It's going to be a jaw. So here we are. From the 31st to the 3rd of January at the Maynardville Open Air Theatre. That is, Robin Ferrin will be your host. Uh, Fulda Lung will be your lutist. We've got Daniel Richards over here who will be your Daniel Richards. <laughs> and I'll be your headliner, Kurt Skunrad. We've also got Dylan Skews. And it's family friendly. It's not expensive. You can even have beer, yeah. yeah. And the more you drink, the funnier we get. Oh. I don't think I can say that. All right.